I'm Daryl and welcome to this edition of our off-road camper build. This week I'm going to make a start on putting the trim around the edges of the camper box. Now you would have seen in the previous episode where we cut out the roof rack side panels and I, I pre-cut the top section of trim. That's now been painted in a two-pack satin and that's just been baking for a few days as two-pack likes to do. Everything else will be a 30mm angle where we use angle. Uh, apart from the piece that goes along the bottom of the wall and wraps around onto the floor and for that I'm using a 50mm piece of aluminium angle. Um, the reason I'm going that way is that I actually wanted to bolt through this aluminium angle through the walls and then bolt it up through the floor to give a secondary fix. Um, that because this is going to be used off-road along beaches and bush tracks and blah 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 there's a lot of vibration and I just wanted maximum strength between the wall and the floor uh, that I could get and this gives me that. Now to hold this trim on I've got mechanical fixes through the top and the bottom however I really didn't want to put a mechanical fix through the front and rear of the camper because of aesthetic reasons I'd rather just have something that is clean. And to that end, I was originally going to put a mastic strip behind this trim. And I was watching a very timely discussion online with regard to mastic or a Sikaflex type product. And whilst I was looking at it, I thought, oh, hang on, if I don't want to see a mechanical fix on the front and rear of this camper, I really do need to go the Sikaflex way because it is a heavy duty construction adhesive that also seals. Um, and that'll give me the best chance not to have a mechanical fix on the front and back piece, trim pieces. So I'm going to flip and use the Sikaflex product for that. So at this point, we'll put the top and the bottom piece on, on this side. Um, We'll then install the front pieces, one back piece, and I've got one more back piece to cut, and I haven't cut that yet because it's the last piece in the jigsaw puzzle. And I figured to get the best fit that I can, I really need the rest of it on. Um, so we don't have any movement between the pieces. So at this point, let's get into the Sikaflex and start to fit this stuff. I got most of it done before I ran out of sunlight. Uh, I've come out this morning just to fit this last piece that I've got cut and painted to this side here at the rear. Um, but I am so chuffed. It looks so good. 
Yes, you'll notice that when I've installed these pieces that don't have the um, mechanical fix through them, a screw or whatever, is that I've given them a bit of a love tap with a rubber mallet and that just compresses the Sikaflex um, and gets them to fit nice against the panels. But anyway, let's just get this one done uh, and I've gone as far as I can go with this at the moment. Well guys, with the exception of this piece here on the diagonal, um, this side's finished and I'm just so chuffed. It looks awesome. Very happy with it. So that's it for this week. Hope you liked that. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really does help us out with future projects. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye now. This is so